folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Amanda, and in today's video, we're talking about spring wines, and I'll be sharing with you a charcuterie board that is springtime inspired. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. If you are like me, you are enjoying this beautiful weather, it's pollen everywhere, and you are missing that extra hour of sleep. But don't worry, I have three wines that I know are gonna help you get through these long days. First is this notorious pink that I have not tried. So I'm not counting it, I know you see four up here, but it's only three that I know that are tried and true. But this one is a rosé. It is also a spring wine. But I'm going to give a wine review in my next video. But I did want you to know that it is a part of the spring wine collection. It is the Chloe 2020 Sauvignon Blanc. These, these wines um, that I have tried, they are beginner friendly. Um, but they are on the drier side. This one is 12.5% alcohol. Um, all of Chloe's wines are good. I have tried every last one of them, um, I do believe. And they're all great tasting, great flavors, and a great value uh, for your price, for the, for the price. They retail under $15, just depending on where you get them from. Um, but I do recommend this even for a beginner. If you want to try some of the drier whites, um, this Sauvignon Blanc is good. The Pinot Grigio is good. Next up, we have two of my favorite wines. It is the Rush Collection. I have the 2020 Chardonnay and the 2019 Pinot so Noir. Fun fact, I was introduced to this wine by my husband. He went to the store one day and I asked him to bring back a bottle of wine for me. And he came back with the 2020 Chardonnay. But at the time, I did not drink Chardonnay. And so I asked him like, what are you doing? But he was like, I'm gonna, you drink wine. How did you not drink Chardonnay? But at the time, I had not found a Chardonnay that I liked. And that's one thing about Chardonnay, it has a lot of different styles and variations, and so they are not created equally. And so when you think you like something, and then you go to the next bottle, they're totally different style, totally, totally different style, and you're like, what is this I'm drinking? So that journey for me has been a little harder than any other wine that I've tried this far. Still looking for more great Chardonnays. Haven't found ones that I could just without a doubt recommend, but this one hands down has changed the game. And so I'm looking for more wines that are similar to this style as well. And it's locally uh, distributed. It's in uh, Irondale, Alabama. This is a great wine for alcohol content. They're both 13.5% alcohol. Um, they, this uh, Chardonnay is $9.99, depending on where you get it from. And the Pinot Noir, it retails for about $12. Um, I was able to get it at the Rosses here. But if you um, go to their website, winesbyrush.com, you will be able to find retailers that are near you. Um, they have them here in Alabama, California, Argentina. It's a bunch of places that they list. And so you can find someone that's near you if you do not have a Rouse's grocery store. Um, but I'm going to open these on camera today. And we're going to see what's inside.
both very delightful wines. The Chardonnay is very popular, even though I personally have not found the perfect Chardonnay. It is one of the most popular wines there is. Um, these are spring wines that are perfect for indoor and outdoor. The purpose, I always say that wine is art in a bottle, so it's how you experience it when you're drinking it that gives you the full ambiance of it all. So if you're out on the patio drinking, if you're hanging with friends inside, you want to make sure that you're drinking the right wines because all of the elements, the temperature outside, even the wine glass, um, how you're feeling, all of that, that affects the wine drinking experience. So definitely go out and get you a bottle before if there are different styles and variations when it comes to Chardonnay. Um, but I would recommend this bottle. And when it comes to the Pinot Noir, this is hands down great quality for the price as well. Um, both retail under $15 and they pair well with the charcuterie board that I made. So I'm gonna show you how I made that as well. Okay guys, first I decided to lay everything out just to see what I had as well as to see how much of what I had. So I decided to do something different on this charcuterie board. I decided I did not want to use grapes or deli meats. I also wanted to add a color, a bit of color and different textures After I placed my centerpiece, which is the cheese, it is a white cheddar cheese. Everything else will go around it. I have chocolate covered pretzels, oranges, kiwi, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, bruschetta, garlic, and parsley toast, and almonds. And as you can see, I started putting things in certain places, but as time went on, I moved it around, kind of played around with it to I like where everything was positioned. And you will see, <laughs> as I was making this, um, uh, in a few clips, you see hands coming in and out. Those are my children constantly coming, grabbing things. And so I had to go back in the refrigerator, rinse off some more stuff and pull it out so that it could look fuller. And that is one thing I will say that when you make a charcuterie board, if you are making it for a special occasion, um, like if you have your girlfriends over, that would be nice. But also just an, a snack over the weekends when the kids are home and you're not going anywhere, they tore it up. It was literally just a few berries left at the end of the day. Um, great way for them to get things that are healthy in. And if it's out, they seem to gravitate it towards it more versus going to get chips and cookies and popcorn and things of that nature. Okay, you guys, this is how it turned out. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. You and me were meant to be as one. 
The universe has known it all.